today guys we are going to be checking out why australia is the only place with road trains damn what is the meaning of that actually road trains like to be honest i've never actually heard of that before but as i see here i do see a truck which has like one two three maybe there's more behind like sort of a train type Thing. but yeah let's let's get the video started let's see what we got here today guys do not forget like the video subscribe to the channel check out our discord community link is below in the description guys go check that out and yeah with that being said let's get on to the video australia is known for its unique and extensive use of road trains which are exceptionally long and heavy vehicles okay but why is it only in australia you see road trains yeah because i've never in seen this video something like that we will before, dive bro. into the multiple reasons that australia road uses trains. road trains but first you might even be wondering what is a road train <laughs> a road train is a type of long combination vehicle what, that consists of a prime mover the pulling oh, unit, which is pulling back, multiple trailers or semi-trailers connected in a series. Road trains are characterized by their exceptional length and weight compared to standard truck and trailer configurations. Wow, that is literally crazy, In Australia, man. road trains can consist of two to four trailers. However, sectors such as mining, agriculture, and bulk freight use even longer what? combinations <laughs> of up to seven trailers no way the first road train was invented in the 1930s what the road that train consists of an eight-wheeled tractor unit pulling two trailers the road train was around 22 meters long Impressive. and weighed around 36,000 kilograms today the total length of a road train can reach up to over 53 meters 53 174 meters. feet and they can have a total That's gross crazy. weight of over 200,000 kilograms. This massive weight and long road trains have some turn, infrastructure like limitations, as there the may be road. certain roads, must bridges, or hard. areas with weight or length restrictions that road trains must comply with. There can therefore be a major planning task in choosing the right route through the large country. This leads us to the first reason that Australia uses road well, trains. It's only like straight Australia roads, I mean, is it's the easier, world's but... sixth largest country by land area, with vast expanses of remote and sparsely populated the regions. Sixth country. Road okay. trains provide an efficient and cost effective means of transporting goods across long distances in these areas, where there may be limited infrastructure and transportation options. The use of road trains allows for the transportation of larger quantities of goods in a single trip, reducing wow. the number of trips required and Mart, overall though, transportation say, costs. Smart. Imagine an additional cost in operating four trucks with four drivers that is true, who man. all must that have is wages true. and the added wear and tear on the truck engine, rather than one truck pulling four to five trailers moving the same cargo. This is particularly advantageous in Australia's remote regions, where distances between towns and cities can be significant. Here, routes can extend over thousands of kilometers, and the driver can be on the road for weeks. Wow. In order to allow such long and heavy trucks, Look Australia that, has developed man. a regulatory framework to accommodate the safe operation of road trains. It includes specific licensing requirements vehicle design standards, and road infrastructure guidelines to ensure the safe and efficient operation of these long combination vehicles. Must be hard to drive like this one may of these include things. oversized like, honestly, load bro. signs, reflective tape, and warning flags. The specific requirements for signage and markings can vary between states and territories. But now, you may be sitting and thinking, why don't they just load the goods on a train and transport yeah. it? Which leads us to the next reason. Let's check it out. Australia's train network, compared to densely populated countries with extensive rail networks, such as China, Japan, or European nations, Australia's train network is limited in terms of coverage. The train mm. network primarily serves the major cities and some regional centers along the okay. densely populated yeah. eastern and southeastern coasts. I see how it is. In the interior and remote regions, they may have limited or no access to the train network. This is also because of a low population density in the remote areas, making it challenging to justify the economic viability of extensive rail infrastructure. 
the sheer size of Australia's landmass and the challenging terrain in many remote regions present significant cost and feasibility challenges for expanding the train network. Why the solution of the road trains came alive, which at the same I mean, time seemed to be a faster city, and more bro. economical like, solution no to the Australians. In the city. However, the Australian road network is generally well suited for road trains with long, straight stretches yeah. of highways and roads that facilitate their maneuverability. Long These roads. roads are designed to handle the size and weight of road trains, including the necessary turning radii and bridge and overpass clearances, making it suitable for road trains. So, the main reasons why Australia is the only place with road trains is Australia's unique geography, limited train network coverage, low population density in okay. remote areas, and the suitability of the road network have contributed to the prominence of road Fair trains enough, as say, a transportation bro. solution. Not a bad this idea. has made up for some unique trucking rules, as you won't find other places that allow such long trailer combinations and such high total weights. Mm. Also, imagine, Australia bro. is one of the few places where you regularly will see both the conventional truck with a long hood and the shorter cab overs. Cab over trucks are often favored in urban areas wow, that or applications cool that trucks, require bro. maneuverability and trucks. easy access to loading docks. Cool designs, Conventional well. long nosed trucks, on the other hand, may be preferred for long haul or heavy I duty operations where like aerodynamics trucks, and driver comfort play a significant role. But what does the future of road trains look like when you look at the constant demands for reducing emissions and increased requests for greener solutions? Well, that's a nice First red, of all, man. the current emission standard in Australia is Euro 5, where most of Europe is 6 and the extended version Euro 6C with even stricter hmm. emission requirements. Also, both in Europe and America, more and more electric truck versions are coming. But okay. just try to imagine an electric truck pulling over 200,000 kilograms in hard. four, five, or six trailers, not to mention the logistics of establishing a charging network in such a large country True, with such long distances from region to region. We think it will be decades, or if it ever will be a feasible solution, we can just wait and see. What do you think? Will all trucks be replaced by electric solutions in the future? Leave a comment Maybe. below and let us know your opinion. If this was everything for today. We hope you enjoyed. Anyway, wow, that was like literally a very, very interesting video. Never seen anything like that before. Didn't even know that such thing actually existed after watching this video. But yeah, let me know, guys, your thoughts on this in the comments below, especially you guys that are living in Australia. If you made it this far, guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.